Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month ago, I posted a video letting you know that Microsoft had confirmed that it was gradually rolling out the new Bing chat to different web browsers. And um, as I mentioned in that video, um, which I'll leave a link to in the description, I hadn't received uh, the new Bing in my third-party web browsers, as an example, Google Chrome. Now, just to do a quick update, that if you are using uh, the Bing AI with the chatbot chat GPT, that Microsoft has now started rolling out the new Bing AI support to all browsers, which also now includes Google Chrome and Apple's Safari, which I did mention previously, but it seems now that it's still on a controlled rollout, but nonetheless seems to be now becoming more widely available, and I have now received uh, the chatbot support now in my Google Chrome web browser as an example. Now, when you click on uh, the new Bing in a search, you get this page, Chat Now, and this will take you over to the new Bing. And in true Microsoft fashion, you will get and you will be uh, shown this prompt in the top right-hand corner. Um, you now have access to the new AI-powered Bing. Start exploring in Edge because obviously Microsoft wants you to use Edge and not a third-party web browser. So if you click on Chat Now, that will take you over to Microsoft Edge. But if you click on Later, you can now use the new Bing in Google Chrome and Apple's Safari as an example. Now, one or two things just to take note of. If I just ask Bing so we can generate a conversation, just ask Bing hi, you will notice, and as I have mentioned previously to do a quick recap, um, if you do not sign in, like I'm now using the new Bing without signing in. So if you don't sign in uh, with your Microsoft account, you will not see any chat history recent activity which will appear as many of you will know by now yeah in the top right and you only have five uh, chat turns per session where if you do sign in i think you get 30 chat turns per session so just take note of that so if you want to sign in to get more of those and um, then obviously just click on the relevant link sign in but if you don't you get no chat history and you only are limited to those five chat turns per session and something else uh, to take note of, although it is starting to roll out to all web browsers, obviously this is still on a controlled rollout. And I am not noticing it in Brave. I have not seen the new Bing yet in Brave. It still wants me to head over to Microsoft Edge. I'm not being able to access it in Firefox. The same applies. But as I did mention, with the rollout of Vivaldi 6.1, which is the latest release of Vivaldi, you can use the new Bing by default in the Vivaldi web browser because version 6.1 and one of the updates was that it masquerades as Edge to access Bing Chat using the Vivaldi web browser. So I am seeing it in Vivaldi, not in Firefox, not in Brave, um, obviously in Edge and I'm seeing it now in Google Chrome. And something else to take note of as I did post uh, a day or so ago, I'm not seeing the dark mode yet in the third-party web browsers. You may have to sign in to see it, but I'm not seeing it yet. But as mentioned, dark mode support is now starting to roll out finally to the new Bing if you are using it uh, in Microsoft Edge. And I'll also leave a link to that video down below. But nonetheless, just wanted to put it out there if you are using the new Bing, that it is now starting to roll out um, to all browsers, including Google Chrome and Apple Safari. And that's obviously using a controlled rollout. And if it does become available in any other uh, third-party web browsers, I'll obviously post and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.